Hey everybody, I hope you're having a great day. I have changed up my lighting a little bit in this video. I'm testing some new things out, so please bear with me as I get used to this and we'll probably continue to make a few little adjustments and tweaks in the coming days. The thing I'm going to be talking about in this video is something I ran across in at Walmart, and it's this new Wet n Wild Cold Crayon. The shade is Calling Your Buff, and I know these kind of nude, eye-brightening pencils are pretty popular, particularly particularly to be worn in your lower inner rims. And while I think this does definitely come under the heading of nude eye pencil, um, it's definitely a little bit darker than some of the other options I've used. And it's also a little more yellowish as well. I think the best way to describe the shade is to show it to you in comparison to a couple of others. Um, this one swatched here on the end is my Milani Shadow Eyes in Almond Cream. So you can see that's the lightest. We have the one from Rimmel here, and this is the Rimmel Scandal Eyes in Nude. And then right here, I've swatched this one from Wet n Wild. Definitely has like a deep peach, kind of like a golden peach tone to it. And if you wanted to, you could always do like a white in your lower inner rim. I sometimes like to do that. I think it gives an even more stark effect there, but sometimes if you're going for more of a statement look, or it gives you kind of more of a, a round, very doll-eyed type look. But I think the reason why some people tend to, on a daily basis, want to go toward more of these nude shades is because they're just less apparent. These shades can kind of neutralize any redness you might have in the lower inner rim make you look a little bit more awake, but at the same time, they don't really look like you've put makeup there. Now, I am wearing this one from Wet n Wild in my lower inner rim. It does brighten a little bit, but not nearly as much as either of these do. Both of these, I would say, are very brightening. Even though, as you saw, the Scandal Eyes is considerably deeper than the one from Milani, um, it still serves to brighten quite a bit. This Wet n Wild is still giving me a little bit of brightness, but not nearly as much. But I think the big biggest issue I have with this is actually getting it to transfer onto the lower inner rim. It's got to be kind of a special product to be able to cling there. It's different than just drawing onto your skin. And so with this, I really have to warm the product up first, so I just kind of hold it between my fingers for a few seconds, and that makes it transfer a bit easier. But in the long term, I only get like a few hours of staying power out of this. It's just not really a built for hardcore staying power type of product, at least not compared to these. These are ones I will get nearly all day wear out of, especially the Milani, and this one just doesn't come close. So you're probably getting the idea, this does have several strikes against it for me. The shade is not quite as brightening as I'd like it. The application is a little bit more difficult. You have to kind of warm up the product before you get it on. And then overall longevity throughout the day is not as good as these other drugstore products that I already have. Granted, these are a little more expensive than this one from Wet n Wild, but they are going to perform really well, and these have lasted me a long time. But if at all possible, I try to look at these products and think, are there any other kinds of uses you could get out of this? And I do think there are some other ways you could use this. You could draw this all over your lid. I've tried using this as kind of a neutralizing base all over the lid, and you can use it that way. It definitely takes some time because it's it's a skinny pencil, you know? This Milani Shadow Eyes is a jumbo stick, and I mean, that'll draw all over your lid in a heartbeat, but this takes a little more time, but you could use it that way. You could also use it if you wanted to draw on the skin, like right down here on your under eye area and maybe create a little bit of a base for a powder shadow that you wanted to put there. I mean, this is pretty precise. Sometimes people also might like to use a pencil like this to sort of clean up around their lip line. And you know, if you had just the right skin tone for this, this might also work as like a really pinpointed concealer type product. But primarily for the eyes, this is not going to be a product I'm going to reach for a whole lot. I really think that one of my favorite things to use either on the inner rim or, you know, all across the lid is this Milan shadow eyes and almond cream and also it's the same manufacturer for Jordana basically the same product the 12 hour made to last and continuous almonds so either of these whichever you know brand you can get your hands on some stores carry one or the other these are really great products for the inner rim or as a neutralizing base all over your lid that Rimmel is great as well and also nice if you just prefer the smaller pencil but I really appreciate the staying power on all of those products and the wet and wild ones just kind of missing the mark for me but but thank you guys so much for watching this review, and I'll see you next time. Bye!